In this video, we got a gameplay on the new Galaxy Opal Harold Miner in NBA 2K23. My team, he's going to be a 98 overall shooting guard point guard, and he is six foot five, so not a bad height at the point guard position. He definitely does also have a good wingspan at six foot eight and a pretty good player modeling game. Looking at his stats, he's got a 93 three ball, 94 mid range, really good at getting to the basket with a 98 driving dunk and a 97 ball handle. His defensive stats can maybe be a tiny bit better, but all around should be a solid defender, 80 block, 95 steal. 93 perimeter 90 interior defense and then he's also really athletic 95 speed 95 acceleration 95 speed with ball and also does have a 98 vertical looking at his badges he's got 20 on hall of fame including bully fast switch feels finisher giant slayer limitless takeoff posterizer agent 3 catch and shoot limitless range ankle breaker clamp breaker handles for days hyper drive killer combos quick first step anchor clamps glove and menace as well then he does have 32 gold badges so in total 32 plus 20 he is going to have 52 total badges in the game which is really good for a galaxy opal to have but the main thing i do want to test out is going to be his jump shot and kind of just how the card does move in game because i believe his jump shot is the is it the john stock oh he's a lefty i did not know that i don't remember where lisa was is, is this the john stock and base and the steph curry upper i don't remember what jump shot it is i keep i think that might be Jaden Jaden hardy who i'm thinking about Oh, I forgot what his release was, but it's a really good release. It's definitely a really good release. Looking at his dribble sigs, he's going to have the curry escape, which is really nice. So we can curry slide. I mean, this card's movement's going to be good, man. This card's movement, he's got really good sigs. He's got an amazing jump shot. I also like how it's a lefty release. Sometimes I do like the lefty releases a little bit more. So, I mean, this card should be good on the offensive end. It's just defensively might not be the best in the world. But yeah, Harold Miner could actually be, you know, a really good budget point guard in my team. Very similar to like a KPJ is what I'm expecting for Harold Miner. But let's go green number three and let's get on to the uh, uh, Galaxy Opal Harold Miner gameplay. Into the Clutch Time online game here with the Galaxy Opal Harold Miner. Looking to go around that screen from Patrick Ewing on the first possession. Looking to find him here down low and that's going to be a terrible pass. Almost got that steal though back in transition. We just got to play a lot smarter on the offensive end and good rebound there from Scalabrini looking to push that ball here in transition I think he's going to be amazing on the offensive end looking to go around that screen going to stop pop in Steph Curry's face and we can't get that to go got to hustle back here in transition we can't get that stealer we actually do get the steal we do actually get very lucky but yeah we got to take some way smarter looks here from the four point line Harold Miner and we can't get anything to go what is going on right now we do get that steal stop pop Harold Miner finally knocking down his first three ball on the ball game we were just missing way too many wide open looks because he's got a great jump shot once again i 100 forget what it was like I, i'm trying to remember what it was but i know he's got a great jump shot you can just tell by using it and then yeah he also does have uh, two steals so far on the ball game but looking to push that in transition harold minor stopping and popping from the four point line as we take an early 7-0 lead even after that really rough start on the offensive end he is hooping right now seven points playing good defense got two steals i mean good defense defense here on curry gotta watch that drive in that is elite level defense forcing him into the help but curry is just going to be curry man that is just going to be only the pink diamond curry i thought it was the galaxy opal but we're looking to go around that screen trying to create some space okay my opponent playing some good defense can we get off curry man curry is actually clamping us up right now but looking to go around that screen we got no stamina and i was about to say it does not matter but he's gonna get that I, I honestly didn't even get the contest i just missed wide open i'm still kind of getting used to his jump shot as we just got absolutely cooked there but he's unable to knock down that release so yeah i'm just getting kind of used to his jump shot still not like 100 percent confident on his jump shot just got to get a little bit more reps in and just overall test it out a little bit more but trying to go around steph curry we go all the way to the paint and the car can still finish at the rim he's only six foot five but He's got like a 98 driving dunk, so he's actually going to be really good at finishing around the basket. We're looking to play good defense here on Curry, forcing him into the help. I mean, great defense here from the squad. Got to watch that drive in. He's going to try to backdoor to who even is that runner test look at brian scalabrini with the elite level defense scal is saying hell no man not in my house and my opponent is gonna quit let's hop into another clutch time game and see if harold minor can continue to cook into the second clutch time online game here with the galaxy opal harold minor my opponent does have a way better squad in the second clutch time game than he did in the first one he's got nikola Jokic at the point guard position he's got dark matter t-mac at the two he's got uh kevin garnett at the three so all around just has a way better squad and an elite team that's going to be really hard to go up against with Harold Miner. Can we make the second free throw as I absolutely suck with free throws this year, but we are able to knock it down. It's going to be pretty much next to impossible to try to get stops here with our squad going up against 
T-Mac, and especially Jokic. Like, there's just no stopping him from getting to the paint, but he's going to miss a wide open dunk. We're looking to push that ball here in transition. Looking to go around Kevin Garnett. That is not the matchup we want. Is technical foul? Wait, what just happened? Hanging on the rim? Oh, is my opponent hanging on the rim? I did not even see that happen. Of course, I'm going to miss a tech technical free throw because... I just can't hit a single free throw to save my absolute life. But yeah, we're trying to get that ball into the hands of Harold Miners. Also going to switch KG onto us, which is going to make it even harder to score. We're going right down to Koli Jokic. We're going to get that offensive rebound, and we somehow get that putback layup to go. So three points and two boards in the second clutch time game so far. I mean, he really showed out on the offensive end in that first clutch time game. My opponent's going to pull from the half court line, and he's unable to get that to drop. But yeah, we got to push the ball here in transition. We got to score as much as we can because my opponent has got such a good team we're looking to go around that screen dot to the corner look at oh my god what a pass that was an absolute steamer to the corner right into the hands of vince carter for that easy three ball can we try to get that steal here he's looking to drive into the paint patrick ewing can't get that block is he gonna hang on the rim again he's not but we got to get back going here on the offensive end. A great pass on that last possession from Harold Miner. I mean, this is so hard to score against, though. Going up against KG. We're going right to the paint, though. Look at the quick drops off one. He's actually got some really good dunk packages. Like, he's very underrated at going to the basket. But, guys, let me know in the comment section down below. What do you guys think about this new Galaxy Simple Harold Miner? I know he's called, like, Baby Jordan. I never watched him play, but I think what I think from what I've read up and people have told me now that he was, like, supposed to be the next MJ. And then he just got absolutely embarrassed by MJ like because oh my god he just blocked this with KG but yeah I know, I know his nickname was like baby Jordan or something like that I didn't get to watch him play I didn't even know who he was until uh and until he got until he got dropped today and my team is that is a terrible shot not exactly sure what we're shooting there got to get back here in transition but yeah let me know what you guys think about this card in the comment section down below are you guys maybe going to be looking to add him to your squad I mean I think he'll be a very solid just budget point guard in the game like I said probably on that like KPJ type of level at the point guard position where he's going to be really good offensively has a great jump shot good at going to the basket and has some very good dribble sigs just not sure about the cards defense only being six foot five and his player model maybe isn't as good as i thought it was because if you match up against a card like Jokic just like that it's going to be next to impossible to actually get that paint stop down low and also like my opponent really had to switch kg onto us so we're trying to attack that paint gonna find ewing can't find ewing on the inside he's now got that transition you know with uh kevin garnett looking to play good defense I mean, he could have just taken us on the inside there. Can we maybe get a steal? Trying to play help defense. Almost got the steal there. I thought he was going to pass that. Good defense here from the squad. He's going to try to hop step. And great defense from the team. We're like, we're, we are really locking up. I'm not really sure why my opponent did quit in the second clutch time game, but overall, guys, I thought Harold Miner actually played really elite in the clutch time games. I mean, he was good offensively, not that bad defensively, got some steals, some rebounds. He was attacking the paint, got some three balls off. I think all around going to be a great budget point guard in my team, but let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about the new Galaxy Opal Harold Miner, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.